Hi, what I'm going to show you in this video is how USB MIDI interfaces and um, by extension USB and MIDI to CV interfaces can have some issues and why using something a bit superior can be a good idea. Um, I'm going to be comparing in this video I have a Motu Fastlane USB MIDI interface, which is an old favourite, and uh, in the other corner the Expert Sleepers ES4 um, module generating MIDI. Um, what you can see here on the oscilloscope trace on the top is um, an audio click um, being sent from a, a clip in uh, Ableton Live. So that's kind of our, our reference for what we consider to be in time because that's just being sent out as an, as an audio clip from a loop. And on the bottom is the, the MIDI um, by sticking a probe on the MIDI interface. Now this is the output of the fast lane and what you'll immediately notice is that it's all over the place. Uh, the calibration here is uh, one millisecond per division. So you can see the uh, the clock pulses uh, jittering around by about up to a millisecond. Now if I just switch over to the output of the ES4, there you go. Uh, it's inverted because of the way the, the electricals are connected up, but what you'll notice is that it's absolutely rock solid in time perfectly with the audio and not jittering about. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, so let's just go back to the, the horror that is the, the USB MIDI. Um, on a millisecond might not seem much, but if you consider this um, fairly ordinary uh, percussive waveform, um, that's about a millisecond there for half a wave. If you were using this MIDI clock to uh, generate a similar sound to this, uh, on the beat and you were mixing the two together what you'd get is every now and again when this happened to jitter, jitter over here the waves would completely cancel out so you'd get the thing either being twice as loud or something to zero and you just get a big mess um, so you really do need nice tight timing on your MIDI uh, like that from the ES4 so there you go bye